I'm in the middle of a landscape lighting project here and I find myself in the position of needing to both extend and split a flexible cable for some spike lights that I'm installing. Now I've just stepped inside because of course as soon as you start an outdoor job it starts raining. But obviously with being outside fittings these are going to need some form of weatherproof connection. And I've got just the thing here. It's from Hylek and it's part of their T-Tube range. And it's actually a really neat little solution to extending cables for outside lighting or pond connections and things like that. So we'll have a look at what we're going to use as a splitter here, first of all. As you can see, it is literally T-shaped, so I can use this to connect three cables to each other. Uh, there are some additional forms of this available, such as a Y connection with two outlets on the same side, and also different numbers of terminals on the little connector block that sits inside here. Now this one is a three-pole connection, which has four millimeter squared terminals, and has a rating of 32 amps, which is just amazing for such a small connector. So let's see it in action. We're going to bring the cables through these glands on the end. Even these are really clever as they can accommodate a wide range of cable diameters. You'll notice that these have this kind of ring inside them here and that's because there's a dual layer to the insert. So once the cable diameter goes over nine millimeters, you simply whip out the insert from inside here and just remove this inner core, which allows you to install up to a 13 mil diameter cable which is just great. So I've got the two cables coming in from both straight ends and I've stripped them as long as I can to make the terminations easier for myself while still making sure that the gland will grip the outer sheath of the cable. Then I simply connect the two conductors into the terminal and tighten up. So with this connection made I can now bring my cable that I'm splitting into the other side of the connector. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room in here, but what's quite neat is that when this sits inside the housing here, the screws for the terminals remain accessible. Now I'm going to install this little washer here on the end of the cable that helps to maintain the IP rating. Now at this point, don't whatever you do, forget to slip these two parts over the cable that you're terminating from this end, otherwise you'll need to undo your connections and start again. Note as well, there's another washer here to help with the IP ratings. Again, that must be in place before making this connection. Then it's just a matter of connecting your cable here like so. Then this has two parts to it. The first one screws on and acts as a kind of enclosure for the connections. Then once that part is tight, you screw up the gland part at the top to seal up around the cable and that's it pretty much sorted. So that's the connection completed, but what about the cable that I need to extend? Well, for that, I've got another connector from the Hylek T-Tube range, but as you can see, this is just a straight through connection. Now, when using this connector, it's important to get the order of termination correct. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I take this apart, you can see there's a few different components here. There's a stuffing gland type part on either end, and they connect to this tube in the middle. Inside here, there's the connector block, but watch this. If I tip the central cylinder this way, it doesn't come out. But if I tip it this way, it will. Notice that's indicated by the arrow on the end of the cylinder there. The connector will come out from this end. Now that's to aid installation so that the connections can be made secure without falling out at one end as you tighten up the other end. So to take advantage of that, you need to make the connections in the right order. First of all, make sure you pop the neoprene washers provided onto the glands, making sure they're right up against the shoulder of the gland there. Now, don't forget this or you're going to kick yourself when you're taking it all apart again. Then it's simply a matter of just popping the glands over the ends of your cables and we're going to push the cable through the end without the arrow first and then terminate that end into the connector block, making sure that we strip it to the right length so the gland can grip the sheath. Then we terminate the end with the arrow next. Once that's tightened up, just pull it back through so the terminals enter into the barrel of the connector, then tighten up the gland bodies at each end of the cylinder. It's recommended that you use a spanner just to nip it up with, and then finally tighten up the gland nuts. And again, tighten with a spanner. Job done. Now what's really nice with this connector is that as well, it comes with a little bracket so this can be mounted onto a surface and held securely in place. So there we go. These are just a couple of examples from the expansive range of weatherproof connectors that Hylek produce, and they provide a nice, neat, simple solution for making connections in the great outdoors. So check them out and let us know what you think in the comments below. All that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.